might you share any tips that can help you know us to become better listeners i think uh, this, this is going to sound simplistic but i would say um, decide you want to listen mm. you know a lot of times people say things to us and it's just like noise it's background noise because our mind is on something else and i find that's true of myself somebody comes in and starts to say something and i'm in the middle of an email i've gotten where i was I used to sometimes just say, yeah, okay, and I acted like I was listening, but I really was focused on that email. Mm. So now I'm in the habit for the last, you know, <laughs> two decades or so to say, excuse me, can you hold that just a moment? I'm not listening. Let me finish. And I would write a sentence, you know, finish my thought, uh -huh. and then turn back to that person to listen. So making up your mind that you intend to listen is, is the most important thing. Um, I think uh, clarifying a lot of times we jump to, uh, to assumptions about what somebody's saying. They give us a piece of information and we think, oh, so their point is, and that's not their point at all. Mm -hmm. So if you can get to the habit of saying, uh, is what you're trying to tell me that you'd like me to do X? Or are you trying to tell me that you're not happy with your job and you want to just switch to a different role? You know, I try to clarify. Mm -hmm. And many, sometimes it's right. Sometimes the conclusion I, draw, I drew about what they said is wrong. And so making sure that you question and verify the conclusion you're drawing about what they say is another good listen tip habit. Beautiful, beautiful. So first we have to decide that we're going to listen, right? And then along yes. the way, you know, asking questions to make sure that we understand, the, you know, what the other person say. Are we having the right understanding about that or, you know, we need to have some adjustments or so? Yeah, you know, particularly that's important. When you're giving directions as a manager, as an executive, uh -huh. when you delegate a project, uh, if you say, people are in the habit sometimes of saying, uh, do you follow me? Or, are you with me? Mm. Or is that clear? Well, nobody's going to say, no, I'm stupid. It doesn't, I don't understand. Yeah. Nobody says that. They always nod and act like, sure, I understand. So what you have to do as a speaker is to take responsibility yourself by asking some questions to say something let's say you've delegated a project and as, as the executive then you take the responsibility and say um, as you get this done what what do you what two or three steps do you think you will be taking or where do you think you're going to start on this project or uh, what's a reasonable timeline to get this done and by their answers then you the speaker can determine if they really understood mm. because they don't know that they don't understand <laughs> they don't know that they're on a different wavelength than you so it's really as a speaker it's your responsibility to question and make sure they understand and don't just let them say oh yeah sure i understand or it's clear when it may not be wow.